Hi everyone, thanks so much for clicking on this video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, and if you're not new, welcome back. You're about to watch my Maldives holiday vlog, which I actually went on in February, but just haven't had the chance to edit. It's a mix mash bundle of all the different days put together so you might see me in a million outfits so you might see it go from day to night but holiday Faye was not really thinking about editing Faye <laughs> but yeah I really hope you enjoy the video thumbs up if you love this place because honestly it was like paradise and I feel very lucky to have gone but that's it enjoy the vlog absolute stakes so just on the whole trip but from the airport there was a boat like it must have been like 50 minutes I think and it's quite choppy but I fell asleep on it because I'm just shattered and he woke me up to like get me off the boat I genuinely thought I was dreaming I was just a bit like what is this I cannot believe this place I feel so lucky to be here like this is mental mental I'm so excited for it we, I just got shown the itinerary. It's gonna, it's gonna firstly make an amazing holiday, but it's also gonna make a great vlog. <laughs> so I'll just fill you in on what happened on the airplane. Oh my God, and why I'm alone, because my mum is not in the Maldives with me. So basically there was two flights. The first one was a seven hour flight to Dubai. Then we had like a two hour changeover and we got on a different plane that went to Mali, which is the closest airport to the Maldives. When we got to the gate to get on the Mali flight, the man just looked at our boarding cards and went, uh oh, and we were like, what? <laughs> and then it was like, um, so you're on different flights. And we were like, what? And my heart was going, oh my God. Basically they explained to us that we've been booked on different flights, but my mum's flight had already left because we had like delays um, on our first plane, so it meant that she'd missed the next flight. We were a bit like, can my mum just come on the same one as me? And the guy was like, no. My biggest worry was how I was gonna get from the airport to this island. It's just a bit hard. <laughs> so yeah, my mum is trying to sleep on a seat in the middle of an airport until the, her flight, which is 2 a.m. Like that was the next flight she could get on. And my mum's texting like, just make the most of it, do what you want. Um, and she'll be joining me tomorrow. But for now, I'm gonna give you a tour of this place that we're staying in, cause it is just beautiful and I want you to see it. <laughs> Firstly, this is the jetty of like, what are they called, villas? This side is the wind villas and this side is the water villas because here they have an infinity pool, but we don't have one of those. <laughs> this is our front door. And literally, if you look down, that water, I just can't get over the color. It's so clear under here. I don't know why there's a mat there, but look, <gasps> whoa. Come in, my bags are a bit all over the place, but this is the villa. We've got this lovely little seating area. They've given me alcohol already. <laughs> they were like, what do you drink? And I was like, gin. They gave me some gin. And this is the bed. There's another one of these on the floor. Little viewing windows. And this is the view from this window. It's just amazing. I can't get over that. Then we have this little balcony as well. <gasps> wow. It actually just doesn't feel real, like that, that coloured, it just looks like man-made, like the beaches with the white sand, it just doesn't, it looks fake, I can't get over it. A um, little seat here, also, what is this? I've not seen this. Oh, does it go all the way around? Oh no, it stops there, <laughs> okay. And then we've got sun lounges, umbrella, and this is my favourite bit. This is literally a net for you to sit on. <laughs> it's a bit scary, but... Look at that view. And here is the bathroom. First got this big bath. I can't imagine having like a warm bath, but maybe we should give it a go with the view of the ocean there. 
towels and then there's two sinks i've started to unpack a little bit um there's the toilet in there and then here is the shower which you can see the sea from just amazing wow and this is like the wardrobe space and mirrors so cool so that's it for the villa tour but i'm now going to go out for some food probably not going to vlog it just because it's a bit crazy being on my own i'll definitely vlog the other meals and you're gonna see so much of the holiday just because it's crazy amazing and i want to share it <laughs> good morning it is day one that sleep was amazing i think i've caught up nearly with the jet lag let's go and have a look at what it's like outside <laughs> wow Oh my gosh, it is so warm. I've never seen water this blue. <sighs> okay, my mum is back <laughs> safely. She has landed. But now we're going to go and get some breakfast. It's her first time kind of seeing everything and eating here. So I'm excited for us to see. And I'll show you the breakfast. Thank you. so hot i think it's like 30 degrees okay i was like having a look at the weather and it was eight degrees in the uk i'm like i can't even just believe that i'm here i'm probably gonna say that a million times obviously i still i'm in uni mode slightly which is so sad i gave myself like last night to just chill i need to be writing my dissertation and obviously i'm having lectures throughout this time so i'm gonna sit by the pool and like do a little bit of work well try to anyway so this is like another restaurant over here and this is like a, the main walkway to get everywhere. That little hut you can see in the distance is where we arrived on boat. So I don't know where the airport was in the distance somewhere. <laughs> this is like the main restaurant area where you go for breakfast, lunch and some dinners. So we're going there tonight. And then today, me and mum have just come from that little beach lounge thing. And you like leave your green towels and someone comes and takes them and then puts new ones out. And we went swimming on the beach there this morning. I really just don't understand why there's no one out. Like it's so empty everywhere. It's crazy. Like when me and my mum were swimming this morning, it's literally just us in the whole of that part of the sea. <laughs> Is it too much for us to sit in here? <laughs> There's all the sun beds are taken. That's where I wanted to sit over there, but it's not in the shade and I'm already burning. <laughs> Made it in. That was not the most graceful <laughs> entry into a hammock, but I made it. And I definitely can't do work on here, unfortunately. What a shame. <laughs> Cannot get over the color of this water. It's so clear. I think it's the white sand that does it. And then our little hut is the third one. <laughs> I'm just gonna go and grab some lunch. They do like a buffet. So I'll go and take my bikini off and put, get some lunch. <laughs> On the beach now after a nice lunch. So also we have this like guy that's dedicated to like looking after us 
and it's so cool and he made us an itinerary so when i got here yesterday he was like going through this itinerary of everything we've got planned booked us onto a sunset cruise which is coming up booked us at different restaurants there's about three restaurants on the island like when i say island like it's tiny like i could literally walk around it in less than an hour or something so tonight we're going to like the main restaurant called palms um, and I think they do like a buffet and then like a menu as well. That little grey thing is all fish. We thought it was just like different coloured sand. <laughs> but they're all moving. Oh. So we found that there is a shop. Hi. Hi. Would you like to check inside? Thank you, yeah. Okay. There's a shark. Casual. Casual sharks. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. So, yes, uh, welcome on board. My Thank name you. is Joseph. Hi, Joseph. Okay. I do look a bit sunburnt, but so every day on the island you can go snorkeling twice a day in the morning or at three. So we're on the three o'clock snorkel trip, but we're the only people on this bus. <laughs> bus? <Yeah>. Boat. <laughs> so we got given snorkeling gear, and this is the boat that we're on. I wish I'd brought the camp underwater case because yeah, that would have no, been so good. Yeah. Maybe the. Yeah. But we'll try and show it from the boat if we can. No, he's not. <laughs> We're back from the snorkel. You can see the mask line. But that was amazing. I wish I had an underwater thing to show you, but you just have to take my word for it. <laughs> We saw an octopus straight away. What else? An eel. Clams. Clams, the massive clams, and then the divers would like swim down and they'd shut. What else, Mum? Uh, oh, beautiful fish. Yeah, again. like really yeah. nice coloured fish. And a lob like a lobster's antenna is what you didn't come out. No. No, no it was hiding. hiding. Massive starfish. I've never seen one that big. Yeah, it was amazing. Okay. <laughs> and even the toilets here, we'll just come back into the toilet. Look how amazing this is. It's got its own little pond with showers. Wow, wow, wow. We've just arrived at this. Hey, the glasses are plastic. <laughs> yeah, because we're at a pool. Okay. We've got, I've got a strawberry daiquiri. Do you want to be in it? Yeah. Mum's got a gin and tonic. <laughs> and this is the pool bar. And this is our view. So that's the infinity pool there. Oh! There's the hammock I was on before. That's the bottom. That's the hammock I was on before. Oh, right, yes. had a little bit of rain look at the clouds they're getting dark i think there is going to be a bit of a storm tomorrow but this side sunset amazing this might seem like a horrible thing to do when you're on holiday but because of the amount of food i'm eating and the fact that i'm playing football when i go back to uni i thought i'd best head to the gym and i've seen pictures of it and they've got like this massive glass window thing so i'm gonna go and check it out
got ready now and we are heading off to some lunch at one of the, well, I think this is something I was most excited for coming here. It's called the M6M restaurant, which is minus six meters. It's underwater and you think you get like a lift down and there's like a massive tank and you can see all the fish. I'm really excited, so let's get going to that. So we've just got ready for dinner, it's gala night tonight, so I think we saw them setting up on the beach like loads of lights and like tables and stuff that aren't normally there. Don't really know what to expect, I think there's going to be like different food, maybe, music, I don't know, um, but just got a bit ready and yesterday this woman like delivered us two like scarf things and me and my mum were like, oh, it's not our washing and she was like, no, they're for the gala night. You don't have to wear them, but you can. But I think I'm gonna put mine on. I've got no idea how to tie it, but I've seen some women wearing them as skirts because my dress is a bit short, and I'd rather cover it up. So <laughs> let's have a go at tying that. So I've seen them just like wrap it around. I don't know, I really don't know. Yeah, I think it looks a bit weird, but everyone's wearing them, so I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> so it's this area through here that we saw them setting up yesterday. Oh, you can see the lights. So this is normally all just beach, but for tonight they've set up all this. And mum's bags need a table right at the front. <laughs> Get in. I think there's like a barbecue thing over there, which isn't normal either. So we're just coming inside to have a look at the food. And that is the end of the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you fell in love with the Maldives like we did. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. I just want to show you a really quick holiday clothing haul from Shein that I've been using over summer for a few of my holidays. I got this matching set, which is so comfy for the airport. I also got this white blazer with matching pants, but unfortunately they don't fit. I got this tiny little set of shorts and a top. I got these comfy shorts. And finally, this really cute skirt. You can use my discount code 3FAY15 for 15% off but that is the end of the video thanks so much for watching see you soon with another bye